we see that Samson himself points us to an aspect of Christ. See, Judges 16, 28 um, says, or not 28, sorry, let's go, go back a little bit. Oh, yeah, no, that's right, Judges 16, 28. After he'd been imprisoned, they're having a big celebration, and they bring him out, and they place his hands on pillars, and Samson is going to pray this prayer. Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, remember me. Now that is a different heart posture than what we've seen in Samson so far. Now he goes on in that prayer to like ask for revenge about his eyes. So, you know, he's still the same Samson. But think about these words, sovereign God, like God, you're the one who's in control. Hey God, the one who ultimately, ultimately my strength comes from. Sovereign Lord, would you remember me? And then he's gonna press on those columns and he's actually gonna bring that auditorium down. And scripture even later in Judges 16, says this in verse 30, that Samson took out more Philistines in his death than when he lived. Now that's interesting and that sounds a little harsh to our modern ears, but, but think about what's happening here. The, this is the enemy of God. So, so what if I phrase it this way? It was Samson's death that dealt the greatest blow to the enemy of God's people. Well, who does that point to but Christ himself? I mean, is not his, his death the greatest blow to sin and death that there is? And then his resurrected life that, that is at work in us even today? Like Samson points us to Christ, that you and, our, and you and I and our brokenness and our weakness and our humanity, we cannot just do it ourselves. We need a savior.